So the co-host of Good Morning America has been put out as they were having an affair with each other. They started dating while getting prepared or prepping to run a marathon and they've shared nights away and people have went as far as to show you the cabin that they rented out to make love in front of the fireplace. Side note, if the person has the number to that cabin, I like to make love in front of that same fireplace because that looks like the spot is absolutely jumping. Back to what I'm saying. Both parties involved in this seemingly, according to what I've read, has been separated with their respective spouses. I don't know when it happened, when they start doing what they're doing, but both spouses are not with the people that are involved. A lot of people are saying that they shouldn't be involved with each other because it's a distraction in the workplace. This is what I'm going to say. When two consenting adults get together and they decide to screw and do it with each other, they are consenting. That's number one. Really ain't our business. But because this is out in the public forum, a lot of people are saying it's not going to work. Y'all are wishing and hoping that things don't work. Y'all are hoping that things get messy. Let me be the first to say that a lot of people have a lot of things going on. I know people that's been screwing for years. When I say years, I'm talking about like 10 and 15 years and nobody found out nothing. Like not only do they work together and they're work wives and work husbands, but they do for each other and they've helped companies grow and nobody knows. Y'all need to stay out of people's damn business. Don't be that co-worker that say, oh my gosh, I heard Terry and, 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 and Sabrina, they screwing and they having sex on lunch and it ain't gonna work. That's a distraction. Distraction to who? Who, Rebecca? Get out of their business, Rebecca. Hey, John, it don't mind you, John. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't that man's fault that she ain't want you and her. She wanted him. John, stop hating, John. I think it's a weak excuse for people to say co-workers can't mess around because it doesn't work. Because nine times out of ten, we don't know who's screwing who unless one of them tells somebody. And that's when you should keep your business to yourself anyways. Because nobody gonna ever be happy for somebody that's getting laid. Because they ain't getting laid at home. They going on the same born websites. The ladies are reaching in the same drawers. And now you hear is, mm, and nobody can grass and nobody bedroom or bathroom. If you or a person you know is having a work relationship, stay out them people damn business. To Good Morning America, if y'all fire these people because they are having consensual sex with each other, and it's not affecting their ability to perform their job. I hope y'all have to answer for that. I hope y'all go down because boy, it's boy, it's coworkers I would have took down, and nobody would let me get off his internet.